Alrighty. Just waiting a few seconds. started here. Eh, casual. Not trying to get stuck anywhere. Text above the cursor indicates an interactive object. Okay, look at the key card. Are other objects here? Okay. Get commence your character by selecting verbs. Here, items your character has picked up are here. Okay. So for commands, we'll start with verb and end with object or character. Pick up, pick up key card. Complex commands start with a verb, then an object, and end with another object or character. Okay. Part one, the meeting. I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I wonder if there are subtitles. Oops. supposed to meet someone down here have you seen I anyone? am supposed to meet someone down here have you seen anyone do you have any whiskey
Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. <sighs> wow. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Oh, well, this is not going anywhere. I have to go. Sleep well. Leave your D in Altarum, go to Wrestle Trail to Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Don't want to pick that up. Um. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground source. I was thinking that was going to happen. <laughs> Not very smart. Part two of the body. Wow. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting <laughs> to pixelate. pixelate. This is going to be a long night. It's an empty whiskey bottle. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But 
I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. I can't reach that. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. There's no film in the camera. Why don't you have film? It's a cell phone. No, oh, I love carrying stuff. What? Perform an autopsy in the middle of a stream? It's funny. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong size looks fine to me. I think we'd better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. The camera is out of film. I think we better take a photo of that body before it pixelates any further. Like I don't have enough to carry already. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Anything else over here we can find? We should go find the sheriff. That's disgusting. Better take a deep breath.
I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. It's a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup, though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! But remember, signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. Uh, what? But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. This game is funny. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Click, 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 click. Click, click, click. Waz. These people are weird, man. Wait for me! Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Damn straight, we're the feds. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Aren't you the Sheriff Arino? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas of who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! <laughs> Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Dorg, as I like to call it. Let me guess, the Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folka who uh, crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> Uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, who? 
Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Maybe they should call it Vampire Tron? I can't push that. to stay focused and solve this murder. I'm not putting my finger in there. Insert two photos of an individual and the face Tron 3000 will verify a positive match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals plus a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape. The Fingertron 3000 will check if they match and print out a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a report. Fully voice activated. Stop reading and start talking. Can I look at this body over here? Probably not. Lots of medical books there. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. Awarded to Dr. Mort E. Sean by Sheriff Crook. It's closed. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. It's a pretty big vacuum tube. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object. The Bloodtron 3000 will confirm a positive match and issue a... Because we're done here. The corridor is sure for idiots, that's okay, I can work with idiots. They're easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reyes was a little eager, braver, and took notes. I'm not being connected to the reason I'm here. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. You're also the coroner, right? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You 
I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron. Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run Areno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Insert three reports from the Bloodtron 3000, Fingertron 3000, and Facetron 3000 into the Arresttron 3000 to issue an arrest warrant. It's closed. It's closed. It's turned off. We interrupt our hostile takeover non-stop music with this important message. The government is brainwashing you with secret transmissions. We just don't know where they are coming from. And now back to our special hostile takeover song. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. Enough screwing around. I've got a case to solve. Cool beans. Um, guess head out this way. Open. He's pitching people again. I'll just take the wrench. Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. I'm not that thirsty. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. What caused the leak? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. 
Yes, the signals. It says we're out of the old abandoned pillow factory. Back soon. Safely for savings manager, Mr. El Polo. Welcome to the S&D Diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird of Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. Oh, God. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. Ouch! That's tight! Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. This game is crazy. It kinda has a... Twin Peaks vibe to it. Let's see. What the hell? Broke, buddy. There's nothing in there. Very cozy. My maid changed the sheets today. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special ransom clown makeup. I can't go on like this. Get your together clown <laughs> oh man this guy's twisted too my circus poster 
featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the Clown. Let's see. Uh, get peeping joke book back. Get my crown f fro looking great. A lot of my beeping, awesome clown makeup. Okay, let's see. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. Mm. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen, and your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. I should have been a dentist. You! Grand prize if you could shoot the hair up, ransom the. You got my money, clowny? That's ransom the clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, ransom the asswipe clown? 1,000 clams, or you're not getting your joke book back. Eh, yeah, serves you right for playing the duckies. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting the squeeze on me. Not my problem. Give me my joke book, face. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the 12 kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that scare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have 12 kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. My joke book. I told you before, you ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. I don't know, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. Maybe it's in your hidden safe. You, I'm out of here. Shoot the birdie! It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Must be a huge crowd in the big top.
Well, you go yourself. I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my act. That doesn't seem to work. I can't open that. I can't pull that. I can't push that. I'll just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. Ooh, my cloud fro looks great now. Now there's the face I love. I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. I don't wear f hats. I can't walk in through the main entrance like a tuna headed pleb. I'm Ransom the Clown. I need to make my big s Grand prize if you could shoot the hair off, Ransom the Clown! You got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? I have your money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, here's your money. Now where's my junk buck? Ah, uh, wait, are you messing with me? That's only 138 bucks in interest. Where's the grand you owe me? Eh, uh, thought you'd settle for less. Eh, uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, yeah? Well, I choose to hang on to your joke book till I get the full 1138 bucks. Now, beggar off. Grand prize if you can shoot the hair off. You got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? You, I'm out of here. He is too far away. Ah, step right up. Win a fine leather jacket. He is too far away. Make sure there's no money else somewhere else. It's my lawyer's business card. It's an IOU. I, Carney Joe, loan ransom the clown. $1,000 and will hold his joke book hostage until I gets paid. That doesn't seem to work. 
glued them to the table so no one can steal them. He's happy where he is, aren't you, little ransom? I look marvelous. Ready to knock him dead. It's my lumpy circus poster. It's exactly eleven $1 hundred and thirty-eight dollars in unmarked bills. Of course you had it, you bum. All right. Let's go see if we can pay this guy. Give us the joke book back. Just shoot like a man or a little girl. You got my money, ransom the asswipe clown. I have your money. A thousand bucks plus interest. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Yeah, take a shot at the target. Win a fine leather jacket. Ah, uh, step right up! Just shoot like a man or a little girl. Scram, clowny! You're scaring the custom- Alright, let's go. Got my to-do list. Alright, cool. Hello! faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. I was amazed you weren't a bunch of fatsos. What with all this bottomless foie gras and champagne you have at the parties here. Then I ate at your diner. Their food is a better purgative than Ipecac. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now like, we can do better. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. Jesus, dude. You will be forever sorry for what you've just oh, said. She's a I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the f***? 
This makeup isn't coming off. Stop. You old lady. You up the you. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old... My lady! Jesus, dude. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little... Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you... Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Interesting. Alright guys, I'm gonna save it here and uh, call it a day. Uh, thank you for stopping by and uh, see you in the next time. Adios.